Today we are going to discuss about transform analysis of LT systems, transfer function, stability and causality. So first we are going to discuss about transfer function from different equations. Consider a system x of n with h of n, x of n is the input and y of n is the output which is equal to x of n convolution with h of n. Then y of n is equal to x of n convolution with h of n which is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n minus k into h of n. Taking z transform on both sides of the above equation using the convolution property the transformed output y of z is the product of the transfer function h of z and the transformed input x of z that is y of z is equal to h of z into x of z. The z transform has converted convolution of time sequences into multiplication of transforms. The transfer function may be viewed as the ratio of the z transform of the output to that of the input then h of z is equal to y of z divided by x of z. The definition applies to all values of z for which x of z is non-zero. The transfer function may be obtained directly from the difference equation description of a system. Nth order difference equation relates the input x of n to the output y of n as summation k is equal to 0 to n a k into y of n minus k which is equal to summation k is equal to 0 to m b k into x of n minus k. Call it as equation number 1. The transfer function h of z is an eigenvalue of the system associated with the eigenfunction z to the power n that is if x of n is equal to z to the power n then the output of a LTI system is y of z is equal to h of z into z to the power n. Taking z transform of the equation number 1 we get Summation k is equal to 0 to n a k into z to the power minus k into y of z which is equal to summation k is equal to 0 to m b k into z to the power minus k into x of z. Then h of z is equal to y of z divided by x of z which is equal to summation k is equal to 0 to m b k into z to the power minus k divided by summation k is equal to 0 to n a k into z to the power minus k. Thus the transfer function of a system described by a difference equation is a ratio of polynomials in z inverse and is thus termed as rational transfer function. The coefficient of z to the power minus k in the numerator polynomial is the coefficient associated with x of n minus k in the difference equation. The coefficient of z to the power minus k in the denominator polynomial is the coefficient associated with y of n minus k in the difference equation. For example, find the difference equation from the transfer function describing a system given below. h of z is equal to 5z plus 2 divided by 
z square plus 3z plus 2. The edge of z is equal to 5z plus 2 divided by z square plus 3z plus 2 which is equal to y of z divided by x of z. Then cross multiplying we get y of z into z square plus 3z plus 2 is equal to x of z into 5z plus 2. Taking inverse z transform of the above equation we get 5x into n plus 1 plus 2 into x of n is equal to y of n plus 2 plus 3 into y of n plus 1 plus 2 into y of n. Consider it as LTI system replacing n by n minus 2. Then 5x into n plus 1 minus 2 plus 2 into x of n minus 2 is equal to y of n plus 2 minus 2 plus 3 into y of n plus 1 minus 2 plus 2 into y of n minus 2 or 5x into n minus 1 plus 2x into n minus 2 is equal to y of n plus 3 into y of n minus 1 plus 2 into y of n minus 2. Thus, the difference equation describing the system is given by y of n plus 3 into y of n minus 1 plus 2 into y of n minus 2 is equal to 5 into x of n minus 1 plus 2 into x of n minus 2. Next, we are going to discuss about impulse response. The impulse response of causal system is 0 for n less than 0. Therefore, the impulse response of a causal system is determined from the transfer function by using right-sided inverse transforms. A pole inside the unit circle in the z-plane contributes an exponentially decaying term to the impulse response while a pole that is outside the unit circle contributes an exponentially increasing term. So we can see the uh, graph for different h of z real axis and imaginary axis we can see the poles and zeros. If a system is stable then the impulse response exists. It follows that the ROC must include the unit circle in Z plane. For H of N it has shown the ROC imaginary axis and real axis. A pole outside the unit circle contributes a left-sided decaying exponential to the impulse response. We have one note. Systems that are both stable and causal must have all their poles inside the unit circle. A pole that is inside the unit circle in the z-plane contributes a right-sided or causal decaying exponential term to impulse response. For example, an LTI system is described by the difference equation y of n minus 6 by 5 into y of n minus 1 minus 16 divided by 25 y of n minus 2 is equal to 2 into x of n plus x of n minus 1. Find the transfer function. Find its impulse response. Thus, a stable and causal LTI system exists. So, by taking the transform of the difference equation, we have y of z minus 
सिक्स बाई फाइव जेड इनवर्स इन टू वाई हाफ जेड माइनस सिक्सटीन डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव जेड टू द पावर माइनस टू इन टू वाई हाफ जेड इज इक्वल टू टू इन टू एक्स ऑफ जेड प्लस जेड इनवर्स इन टू एक्स ऑफ जेड बाई टेकिंग वाई ऑफ जेड कॉमन वी गेट वाई ऑफ जेड इन टू वन माइनस सिक्स बाई फाइव जेड इनवर्स माइनस सिक्सटीन बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव जेड टू द पावर माइनस टू By taking x of z common, we get x of z into 2 plus z inverse. We know that h of z is equal to y of z divided by x of z. Then h of z is equal to 2 plus z inverse divided by 1 minus 6 by 5 z inverse minus 16 divided by 25 z to the power minus 2. Which is equal to 2z plus 1 into 25z divided by 25z square minus 30z minus 16. Then h of z divided by z is equal to 2z plus 1 into 25 divided by 25z square minus 30z minus 16, which is equal to 50z. Plus 25 divided by z minus 8 by 5 into z plus 2 by 5, which is equal to a divided by z minus 8 by 5 plus b divided by z plus 2 by 5. So using partial fraction method, we get a as 1 by 1 by 5 by 2 and b as 5 by 2. Then substituting in place of a and b, we get 105 divided by 2 whole thing is divided by z minus 8 by 5 minus 5 by 2 divided by z plus 2 by 5 then h of n is equal to 105 by 2 into 8 by 5 to the power n into e of n minus 5 by 2 into minus 2 by 5 to the power n into e of n the poles are at z is equal to 8 by 5 And minus two by five. Since one of the poles is outside the unit circle, the stable and causal LTA system does not exist. A system has the transfer function h of z is equal to two divided by one minus point nine into e power j pi by four into z inverse plus 2 divided by 1 minus 0.9 into e power minus j pi by 4 into z inverse plus 3 divided by 1 plus 2 z inverse. Find the impulse response assuming the system is stable and causal. Can this system be both stable and causal? The system has poles at 1 minus 0.9 into e power j pi by 4 into z inverse is equal to 0, or 0.9 e power j pi by 4 into z inverse is equal to 1, or z1 is equal to 0.9 into e power j pi by 4. Similarly, 1 minus 0.9 into e power minus j pi by 4 z inverse is equal to 0 or 0.9 e power minus j pi by 4 into z inverse is equal to 1 or z2 is equal to 0.9 into e power minus j pi by 4 and one more is 1 plus 2 z inverse is equal to 0 or z3 is equal to minus 2 so poles are drawn as shown in the given figure two poles inside the unit circle contribute right handed terms to the impulse response while the pole outside the unit circle contributes a left sided term the impulse response h of n is equal to 2 into 0.9 into e power j pi by 4 To the power n into y of n plus 2 into 0.9 into 
e power minus j pi by 4 to the power n into of n plus 3 into minus 2 to the power n into e of minus n minus 1 which is equal to 4 into 0.9 to the power n cos pi n by 4 into e of n plus 3 into minus 2 to the power n into e of minus n minus 1. The first case for the system to be stable h of n is equal to 4 into 0.9 to the power n into cos pi n by 4 into e of n plus 3 into minus 2 to the power n into e of minus n minus 1. In the second case for the system to be causal h of n is equal to 4 into 0.9 to the power n into cos of pi n by 4 into e of n plus 3 into minus 2 to the power n into e of n. This system cannot be both stable and causal since there is a pole outside the unit circle. If a discrete time LTI system is BI BO stable, that means bounded input, bounded output stable, show that the ROC of its system function H of Z must contain the unit circle that is mod Z is equal to 1. For a discrete time LTI system to be BI BO stable, If the system is stable, then h of z converges for z is equal to e power j o. That is summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity. Mod of h of n should be less than infinity. And ROC must, must contain the unit circle mod z is equal to 1. We know that h of z is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity h of n into z to the power minus n let z is equal to r into e power j o and h of z is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity h of n into r to the power minus n into e power minus j o n then mod z mod h of z is equal to mod of summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity h of n into r to the power minus n which is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity mod of h of n into r to the power minus n is less than infinity therefore summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity mod of h of n is less than infinity if r is equal to 1. Next, solution of difference equations using the transform. So, first problem, a stable and causal system is described by the difference equation y of n plus 1 by 4 y of n minus 1 minus 1 by 8 y of n minus 2 is equal to minus 2 into x of n plus 5 by 4 into x of n minus 1. Find the system impulse response. Taking the z transform of the given equation, we have y of z plus 1 by 4 z inverse into y of z minus 1 by 8 z to the power minus 2 into y of z is equal to minus 2 into x of z plus 5 by 4 into z inverse into x of z. Taking y of z common in the left side, we get y of z into 1 plus 1 by 4 z inverse minus 1 by 8 z to the power minus 2 is equal to x of z into minus 2 plus 5 by 4 z inverse. Then h of z is equal to y of z divided by x of z which is equal to minus 2 plus 5 by 4 into z inverse divided by 1 plus 1 by 4 z inverse minus 1 by 8 z to the power minus 2 is equal to minus 16 z plus 10 into z divided by 
8z square plus 2z minus 1. Taking the roots of denominator, we have 8z square plus 2z minus 1 is equal to 0. Then z is equal to minus half and 1 by 4. Then h of z divided by z is equal to minus 16z plus 10 divided by 8z square plus 2z minus 1. Which is equal to minus 16z plus 10 divided by 8 into z minus 1 by 4 into z plus half which is equal to 1 divided by z minus 1 by 4 minus 3 divided by z plus half then h of z is equal to z divided by z minus 1 by 4 minus 3z divided by z plus half h of n is equal to 1 by 4 to the power n minus 3 into minus half to the power n into u of n Consider a system whose input x of n and output y of n are related by y of n minus 1 plus 2 into y of n is equal to x of n. Determine the zero input response of the system if y of minus 1 is equal to 2. Determine the zero state response of the system to the input x of n is equal to 1 by 4 to the power n into u of n and determine the output of the system for n is greater than or equal to 0 when x of n is equal to 1 by 4 to the power n into u of n and y of 1 is equal to 2. It is given y of n minus 1 plus 2 into y of n is equal to x of n. By taking the transform of the above equation, we have z inverse into y of z plus y of minus 1 into z plus 2 into y of z is equal to x of z. Or y of z is equal to z inverse plus 2 is equal to x of z minus 2. Then y of z is equal to x of z minus 2 divided by z inverse plus 2. For zero input response, x of z is equal to zero. Then y of z is equal to minus two divided by z inverse plus two, which is equal to two z divided by one plus two z. Then y of z divided by z is equal to one divided by z plus half. Then y to the power n of n is equal to minus of minus half to the power n into u of n. For zero state response, initial conditions are zero. Then z inverse into y of z plus 2 into y of z is equal to x of z. Then y of z is equal to x of z divided by z inverse plus 2 which is equal to z divided by z minus 1 by 4 into z inverse plus 2 which is equal to z square divided by 2 into z minus 1 by 4 into z plus half then y of z divided by z is equal to z divided by 2 into z minus 1 by 4 into z plus half which is equal to a divided by z minus 1 by 4 plus b divided by z plus half which is equal to 1 divided by 6 into z minus 1 by 4 plus 1 divided by 3 into z plus half then y of z is equal to z divided by 6 into z minus 1 by 4 plus z divided by 3 into z plus half then Force response of y of n is equal to 1 by 3 into minus half to the power n plus 1 by 6 into 1 by 4 to the power n into y of n. For total response y of n is equal to 1 by 3 into minus half to the power n 
plus 1 by 6 into 1 by 4 to the power n minus of minus half to the power n into u of n which is equal to 1 by 6 into 1 by 4 to the power n minus 2 by 3 into minus half to the power n into u of n.